All right, what's up guys? So, if you haven't noticed by the title of the video, yes, opening muzzleloader season here in Indiana. Super stoked. Just haven't been muzzleloader hunting before. I've shot a muzzleloader, but just haven't been hunting. So, uh, we got the scope sighted in last night, and uh, now I'm headed out. Dad's at work. Sister, she usually comes hunting with me, but she's over in Bloomington at school right now. So, uh, I'm out alone this morning. Um, the plan is I'm going to walk in as the sun's coming up right when I can shoot because there's usually deer in the field so if there's any deer in the field this morning I'll be able to shoot them instead of spooking them out of the fields because usually when you spook them out of the fields they won't come back so hoping to be able to shoot them or maybe there just won't be any in there so I won't scare any out of the fields so anyways for last night our trail camera hasn't sent us many photos of deer maybe just like a doe or so but last night we had three bucks walk by and then this morning another buck walked by so super stoked the trail camera is only probably a couple hundred yards from where i'm sitting across the field so i'm hoping this morning will be really good stay tuned guys i'll keep you updated this is going to be good Alright, what's up guys? Just got back from the morning hunt. It was really cold, a little breezy, but did not see anything. I was hoping to see something like this guy, but that didn't happen. So, we gotta go back out this evening and see if we can get something on the ground. So I'm tired of filming all these videos for you guys and keeping you hanging because nothing's hit the ground yet. So, that's about to change. Right, what's up guys? Just got back from lunch. Went back to the house and got some lunch. Came back to the property, so. About to head across the cornfield to the uh, tree stand. It'll be a pretty good walk, but it'll be well worth it. Catch you guys up when I get there. Alright, guys. Made it to the tree stand. Walked across the field here. I uh, scared three deer in the woods as I was coming in, so they're around here at the moon. So I'm hoping to see you pretty good. I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully, I'll see some all right i don't think you guys can see this video but i had three does walk down to the field right before dark i didn't really have any shots on them i thought i heard more deer coming but it turned out it was just another doe so yeah there's three does in the field but you just can't really see them and then the evening ended up after that I just walked back to the truck and i'm excited to go back tomorrow all right guys so prior to going out the next day in muscle loader season. Our trail camera sends us 26 different photos of deer, ranging from four pointers to six pointers to eight pointers to even a 10 pointer and lots of does. So here's some of those photos that we've seen. And also all of these scrapes and rubs that are, you are seeing here have been freshly opened up or they are fresh scrapes or fresh rubs that have been uh, used by the deer. So this is just all showing that the second rut is in and all of this is signs of the second rut.
just got up into my stand, my, my, my climbing stand here, as you can see. I'm just freaking pumped because you always hear of the second rut coming in, but I've never seen any signs of it. But I don't know if you can see, but I, there's a rub. December 17th, Southern Indiana. Back out here on muzzleloader hunting. It's Monday. This is the last last full week of muzzleloader season here. So came out to the uh, new spot. I haven't been here before. It's pretty close to where uh, our trail camera's at where those bucks are coming by, but it's on public property. So I'm hoping those bucks are like back here butted down, waiting to go out to that field after dark. So. Hopefully I can catch him sneaking by this evening. Stay tuned. We got, uh, got Zach Bolte. Uh, pretty good ways away. He's got his muzzle right here. He's hunting. He's ready to kill Big Buck also. So uh, keep watching and uh, we'll see if we can get you guys up on the ground. Alright, yeah, guys. It's almost dark. Still have a few minutes left to shoot. But um, I'm going to stay here a few more minutes and uh, see if you see anything. But that's it for right now. There's, there's, there hasn't been anything by I'm going to climb down out of my tree and uh, go beat Zach down here at the creek. Then we'll walk back to the truck. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, we'll be muzzleloader hunting again. So uh, keep watching. We might do some action. What's up, guys? It's December 19th. Happy muzzleloader hunting. This is the last week of muzzleloader season. It is Wednesday. So, guys, stay. Oh yeah, she's crashing right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I hear her going down. Oh, oh baby, oh, that was sick. Oh, that 
the same dude. <laughs> and that was as a mom with two babies. Came down this path in front of me. It's about 9.30. It's getting pretty warm. I was sitting here. Sitting here just about to doze off because it's so warm out here. But the sun hit me. I came coming down this path. So I got up, got ready. I'm like, man, this is it. This is, this is exciting, you know? Never shot anything with my muzzle or so. Got my gun up. I'm like, man, if she gives me a shot, I'm going to take it. So they were tooling around over there and find me. She came over here walking right towards me about, she, she's probably 15 yards away. She turned a perfect broadside, walked right in front of me, and drilled her, dude. Freaking drilled her. She, she, I guarantee you she's laying over there. I heard her squaring around. Her two babies ran off, but dude, that was lit, dude. <laughs> dude, so pumped, dude. First deal with the muzzle loader, that was amazing. Stay tuned guys, we'll go track her and get that on film for you. So, it's been a few minutes and I know I heard her crash, so I'm gonna get down and go and track her. I know she's not even 50 yards away, probably not even 40, but her babies came back, so they're just cruising around the floor. So that tells me that she's down. So, uh, get on the ground. Alright guys, just hit the ground and there we go. She was standing right here when I shot her. There's a little bit of blood right here. Oh, look at that. She's pouring out blood, guys. She's pouring out blood. Oh, guys. Oh, I see her lying up here, guys. She is down, guys. What a beautiful harvest, guys. We are going to get on the tractor and use that to gut her out because it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier when hanging up off the ground and all the guts will just fall out of it so we are going to we are going to gut it with the front end loader holding it up off the ground I need a water hose, but you know, we're out in the woods, we don't have water hoses. So we use the natural moss to clean our hands. Alright guys, that's how you get it eat right there. So I'm sorry if you got a weak stomach. So if you got a weak stomach, forgive me. That's what we do in Southern Indiana outdoors. Sorry to hurt any feelings if I did, but please forgive me again. So we're gonna go get this girl hung up in the barn. My buddy Zach, he's gonna come over. We're gonna strip her down, cut out the back straps to keep those. We're gonna quarter her up, slice off some meat, and we're gonna make this girl into some deer jerky. So you guys better stay tuned because that is gonna be some good stuff. Don't wanna miss it. Smoking, baby.